Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and I got a project here on the ranch that uh, uh, kind of started a little bit. I should have gotten some videos a little before, but it was kind of rushing it. Now we're kind of kind of at a catch-up point to where uh, I can show you where we've started. And uh, we decided to redo our fire pit. It was basically uh, just an old tire rim that I'd gotten from uh, one of the guys that farmed for us years ago we just kind of had it out in the yard and it was nice but then we had all these anirondack and other chairs out we'd have to move every time i mow it just kind of got to be a pain so uh what i did is i've got this landscape fabric that i bought this year i'll put a link in the description because this stuff's really nice it's not super expensive i picked it up off of amazon but unlike the stuff you pick up at walmart or lowe's or home depot or a store like that this stuff lasts. The other stuff, you get about three, four months, and it starts disintegrating. Uh, this stuff will, was made, it's actually for uh, putting under uh, gravel driveway, so it's uh, pretty pretty heavy. It's easy to cut, but I've got me a circle, kind of cut around. Uh, the ground was already flat because uh, this was where we had an above-ground pool a few years back that we took down, and it had a lot of sand down, so uh, I... I moved it. I wanted it a little farther from the house anyway. So we set it down. I put uh, a big uh, big square area of this landscape fabric and went around and cut it. And I had a little bit of gravel left over from another project I was doing. So I put a little of this pea gravel down. And that's kind of where we're at right now. Now I'm going to get some stones to put around the edge of it today and get a little more rock. Uh, it's, uh, pea gravel, I guess you would call it put around and uh, make it so we can kind of enjoy our fire pit a little more this year. So now uh, I'm getting ready to run down to town. We're going to get stones to put around the edge of it and then we'll get some rock. All right, so we uh, made a little trip to Home Depot. Now one thing uh, I did do here just a minute ago too is we've got the uh, landscape fabric around and uh, put some staples or stakes, whatever you want to call them. And uh, it's a better, better grade of landscape fabric, but also another thing too, you can kind of see here, uh, I've got some old spikes that I had gotten from, I think Walmart or Home Depot. They're the kind of rusty ones. And then I got some better ones, some heavy duty ones I picked up off of Amazon. And putting them in makes a big difference because uh, the smaller ones were lightweight and they were kind of starting to uh, bend a little bit as we were putting them in. So uh, definitely, you know, worth it to get the, the nicer ones. But we did make a little trip. See here in the back of my pickup truck, we've got uh, some animal feed. We've got uh, some rock we're going to put around the end of it or the edge of it and that'll help keep the uh, little pebbles inside. So I'm gonna start laying these down. I probably didn't get enough. It was kind of hard to gauge how many I'm gonna need, but uh, we're gonna start putting them around, see how far it gets, and this will give me an idea if I gotta go pick up more of what I need. Well, I was pretty close on eyeballing it. I uh, was guessing uh, about 50 stones and uh, I got 55, a few more to be safe, and it looks like I'm 11 to 12 short. So uh, those next couple of days as I go to work, I'll just have to run by Home Depot. It's about an hour away to the closest one, so I'm not just going to run down for 11 of these. I can pretty much dump gravel down and uh, have everything set up to where I'm just waiting for the last couple. I've got mowing and some maintenance on equipment and a couple other things I need to do anyway. So, uh, so I can wait a day or two, but, uh, but yeah, just kind of line them up. I'm going to go pick up some gravel and with the exception of the last couple ones, we'll pretty much have this finished up here in about an hour or two. All right. So we got most everything set up. I've still got just a little bit more gravel just cause I was originally a little short on blocks, but we've got them in there. Got the chairs out and uh, pretty much got everything ready for a uh, nice night to build a fire. And the last little bit of gravel is down. So now we are officially ready. Well, minus we got one more chair 
probably to bring out if it'll fit down here but other than that we're ready for a fire and that's uh one of the parts of our backyard makeover we're doing this summer got our uh swing set area i think we're gonna pull up and kind of re-level and redo and uh little patio we're doing under here and our stock tank pool we'll have other videos on that as well but by uh time we're done hopefully within the next month should have uh this really looking nice it's matt with mcgee farms if you enjoy the videos please consider giving us a thumbs up subscribing to the channel sharing it with your friends watching it all the way through uh, uh that helps with youtube's algorithm and that way you see more videos of stuff like this as opposed to political videos or you know stuff about uh the kardashians or that kind of stuff it's matt with mcgee farms till next time have a great day